If you happen to be sitting at home right now wondering where to invest your tens of thousands of pounds, and which of us isn't, then take heart. For there is still room for your money to grow. The smallest room, in fact, now offers the biggest return on your investments. So if your Krugerrands have done the dirty on you, if your stocks and shares are all washed up, then why not sink your savings in one of these? Or you could clean up in one of these. And even the humble toilet bowl is suddenly a gilt-edged security. So don't put your money in the bank, put it in the bathroom. You too could be sitting on a fortune. It's all true, folks. Apparently, in the mad rush to stash money away in really safe places, the rich have been filling the bath and the lab with golden fittings. To languish in here like a latter-day Cleopatra will cost you three and a half thousand pounds. Now, if your semi-detached doesn't run to a sunken bath and a gold-plated loo, you may have doubts about the decency of such extravagance. The manufacturers have no such worries. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Mr. Borrow, what sort of people buy these very exotic, very expensive bathrooms? Kings of the Middle East, Greek shipping magnates, uh, film stars, well-known personalities, and many more. What sort of places do you export them to, then? At the moment, the biggest uh, export is to the Middle East. The uh, Arla Sheiks and the Kings and uh, Greece is a, a good market. America. And um, what's the most exotic one that you've seen over the years? Oh, well, in the past year, I've seen about 30. Uh, the most exotic that comes to mind is for a well-known king of the Middle East for his 70th bathroom. And uh, the ware we supplied with the gold fittings I think cost around uh, £10,000. I am told that he added gold fittings, such as towel rails and uh, handles and things, which cost a quarter of a million pound. Now, earlier, you may remember, I alluded to the humble toilet bowl as a gilt edge security. Aha, you thought, he is gilding the lily, not to say the loo. He is telling us somewhat less than the truth. Certainly not, for I had been told that somewhere in the north of England was the man with the golden loo. You'll never find it, they told us. But Nationwide took up the challenge, and by golly, we did find it. After days of research, we came across the glittering golden loo. We can't tell you where it is. We can't tell you who owns it. We only got this exotic film for you on condition that we were all sworn to secrecy. But we can lift the lid on some of its secrets. It is, of course, centrally heated for those oh-so-cold mornings. Hot water pipes run right through it. And it stands in a bathroom worth thousands and thousands of pounds, a fitting location. The golden padlock secures it firmly to the lavatory bowl. But we haven't been able to ascertain whether male members of the household are issued with a key or not. So while it's pretty, it's hardly practical. Well, I think it's time we brought a little sanity back into the ornate golden bathroom. For after all, I was brought up in the belief that bathrooms weren't for admiring, but for getting washed in. Anyway, even now I hear that bathroom investors throughout the country are racing to the smallest room in the house to check on their assets. For in the city at the moment, there's a rumor that in this harsh financial climate, even money invested in golden loos could sink without trace. Come on, Donald. There you go, boy.